Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. Good evening to my subscribers in the Philippines. Good morning to my subscribers in America and beyond. I always like to give a, a welcome to my new subscribers and new viewers. Thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. I'm only trying to be helpful, guys. I'm not a know-it-all, and I know sometimes I come off like that, and I want to apologize. I was looking at some of my view, I mean, some of my videos, man, and I get excited sometimes. That's just how I am. That's my nature. I don't mean anything bad. So, you know, I just want to apologize because I don't want to turn you off. I'm really just trying to be helpful. You know, boots on the ground. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing, man, you know, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. I'm never going to sugarcoat it, you know. Uh, I live among the locals here, you know, it's for your benefit, you know. I'm not going to paint this rosy picture of the Philippines and you get over here and be like, man, he lied to me. I'm just going to tell you exactly what I'm seeing, see. See, perception, you know, isn't always reality, man, and your perception is going to differ from mine, but, you know, just the information, the gut level honesty that I can give you is going to help you when you get over here. I was reading an article today because I've got a scam alert. I'm going to tell you my scam story. I believe we all got one, you know, that's been coming back and forth to the Philippines. I've never shared it with anybody because I was embarrassed about it. But I thought, you know, I better come clean because I read an article today that went right into what happened to me about uh, 10 years ago. But during this pandemic, these dating sites have seen a surge, man, in, in membership. Uh, Tinder, Grindr, Bumble, uh, and then this OK Cupid, of which this Filipino Cupid is part of that franchise, uh, which some of you are probably uh, chatting on now, has seen a 700% increase in membership uh, since the pandemic. And they interviewed a psychologist in there, and they, they said, you know, a lot of people are signing up because They've been isolated, you know, they're lonely. They're looking to fill an emotional void. You know, a lot of them really don't have any intention to ever meet the person on the other land. And remember, there's no pressure now. You, they know you're locked down, they're locked down. There's no pressure to connect. So they're gonna say things and they're gonna do things that they normally wouldn't do. They feel more comfortable interacting with you. And I said, man, you know, this is a good time to tell my scam story because, uh, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen abundantly now because, see, most of the women that are online here, they only go as far as asking you for money. They're not going to, you know, I don't consider that a scam. You know, if they ask you for money for whatever reason and you get send it to them and then things don't work out your way, you say you've been scammed. That's not a scam. I call them beggars. I call them panhandlers. Because the women over here, they're just not that sophisticated when it comes to stuff like that. Even the scam that, they, that the woman put on me is very unsophisticated, guys. But it's going to happen to you. See, the Filipino that you're chatting with, a Filipino if you're chatting with a man, you know, uh, they have no intentions of ever meeting you. And I'm just warning you, you know. And there's no way for you to ever figure that out. You're not ever gonna be able to figure that out. See, just like I wasn't able to figure it out because they're gonna play the role. They're gonna build you up. It's gonna seem like, you know, y'all compatible and you know, you may have already sent her some money already. She may have sent you some pictures or whatever we do, you know, show me something, I show you something, that sort of thing, you know, and you're psyched. So maybe a couple of days before you get ready to leave, she's going to hit you with, you need to buy my plane ticket to meet you in Manila or Cebu or whatever it is. Okay, which in my case, let me tell you what happened to me and then I'll get to it. So I'm talking, chatting with the woman. Because see, I'm impulsive. I can never chat with a woman for two or three months. Two weeks is the longest I've ever chatted with anybody. And then, then I'm, you know, I'm coming. You know, so... Uh, you know, she, so that's my fault. So, you know, we're already connecting and everything like that. I hadn't sent her any money, though. And she says, well, you know, you're going to be here X amount of days, and X day. I need a ticket to Cebu. Can you buy a ticket? So I go online, Cebu Pacific. I make the reservation for her. 
She's gonna meet me. I, I made it, you know, the same day, but hers is earlier, and my flight's coming in. But then she says, okay, I need 3,000 pesos because I'm gonna, you know, for my expenses, then I'm gonna give my mother 1,500 to watch my little daughter. You know, and I'm like, okay, because I'm psyched up. I'm ready to go. I'm here to get on a plane in Chicago. I'm headed on over anyway. She's going to meet me there. Well, I do all of that, send her the money. I get to Cebu. She's not there. You know, the tickets expired. You know, I never saw the woman again. Come to find out, she's on two or three other dating sites that I saw her on, that I was a member of, see? And it hit me, I was like, man, she got me good. And she wouldn't return my uh, messages or anything like that, see? And because I was out of that plane ticket, but she don't care. She don't care, you buy that plane ticket in her real name. She just wants that money, see? And I never knew what was coming, man. You know, it wasn't sophisticated, it was real simple. I was angry, man, but I was embarrassed, I was like, how could I let that happen? But you can't see it coming, guys. When she says buy that ticket, see, your wheels are going to start spinning. You're thinking, oh, okay, it's going to happen. She's really serious about meeting me. Because she don't really care that you're going to waste that money on that ticket. What she's really looking for is that other $3,000 or $4,000, however much you send her for her expenses and to pay the babysitter or whatever it is that she's uh, sending. Because I'm going to tell you guys, man, be careful. A lot of y'all guys and women out there, you're lonely. You know, and the longer this pandemic goes on, the more vulnerable you become. The weaker you become. The more comfortable she is over here on this side. Like I said, because there's no pressure. She knows you can't come to the Philippines. So she's going to do things she never would do. And it's the pandemic. You know, people are desperate now. They're going to send you pictures. They don't care. You know, she's going to set you up. And the Filipinas, with the best intentions, guys, they're chatting three or four men because they know that three of y'all are not coming for real. Okay? That just increases her eyes of really meeting somebody. But now, because she has all this time on her hands, see, because most of the women that y'all chatting with, they, they're not working. They don't have a job. See, they're home all day, so you can double that. She's probably chatting with eight guys. See, there's no pressure on her. She can sit there all day and chat and do all the things that they do and smile in that camera. It don't take a whole lot to do that. And she's going to set you up. And you're going to buy that ticket. See, and the reason I couldn't get a dispute is because the ticket had expired, number one. And number two, I made the reservation. There's no dispute in that, see? And that's what's gonna happen to you, and she don't care about that. She don't care about you. She knows that once she tells you to buy that ticket, see, you're already, you know, your fire is already started. She got you, see? She's already in your head already. Oh yeah, she's serious about meeting me. She wants me to buy that plane ticket. Gives you the real name, everything. And there's nothing you can do. You're sitting there dumbfounded, just like me. And that's the only time I've ever been scammed over here, man, because most, most Filipinos, man, they're not going to scam you. They, you know, even if they may not be the woman of your choice, they're not going to scam you, you know. Uh, and if you get scammed, if you meet a woman online that's really just asking you for money and stuff like that, you're really unlucky because... Most Filipinos, they're just not going to ask you, you know, and if they do, it's because of the pandemic, man. You know, they really are struggling, and, you know, if you send them something, man, don't send them that much, but look out for that scam, guys. Be careful. Be on the lookout. You know, I thought I'd tell you today because uh, I just feel, I mean, I'm looking at my comments. I'm like, man, some of these guys, man, they really are sprung already, you know. They've never been here before. They never met the woman, but they're sure this is the one. And then when I read that article, I said, man, I better tell them my story. I better put this scam alert out there because it's an unsophisticated scam, guys. You know. But the scam is 
She gets you to thinking that she's serious because she asks you to buy that ticket. You know she, you know, you know you're gonna be in Manila in a couple of days anyway, and, and you wanna meet her because she set it up already. You've already put your damn payment on her. You've reserved her for you. That's what we do as men. See? You know, so them women ain't scamming you when you ask them when they ask you for money and you send it to them. Because all we're doing is putting a down payment. Putting that in, in reserve. We're putting it in layaway, guys. Let's be honest with ourselves. That's what we're doing. And that's why we send that money. Because what other reason would you have to send money to a complete stranger like that? See? So, but, but, but here's, here's my rule of thought. When two consenting adults, what they agree on, it's nobody's business, man. You know. So, I'm not bashing you for that. I'm just saying, be on the lookout for this scam. She tells you to buy that ticket. You be like, nah, I ain't gonna buy it. You know. Go ahead, and if you're gonna be uh, scammed, just let her scam you out of that 3,000. Say, here, take the 3,000, catch the bus or whatever it is. You buy the plane ticket over there with the money. I'm not buying it online. Don't buy that plane ticket online, guys. Now, if you do, don't say I didn't warn you because you're gonna be hot and heavy. You guys right now, you're chomping at the bit to get over here, man. You're easy right now. You're vulnerable, man. You're lonely. You ain't got nobody over there. You know, this woman, man, she, you know, she's young, she's beautiful. And if you think she looks good on camera, man, wait till you get her in person. You can't resist it, guys. Because I tried it. You can't resist it. But if I could do it all over again, I would try my damnedest to resist that girlfriend experience at least for a couple of days because it's gonna mess her her script up. It's gonna you're gonna tear the whole script up and she's got to come back with something else. But when you come here you see that young, soft, creamy skin, long flowing hair, and more than likely they're gonna have on some short shorts because nobody wears Daisy Dukes like the Filipina man. Nobody wears skinny jeans like the Filipina. She's gonna disarm you man. You know so be careful, guys. That's my scam alert. Don't buy that plane ticket. Okay? No matter how much you convince she's the one. You're going to send her some money. Be out of that money right there. Don't get tricked out of... Don't get tricked twice. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you something. She's probably chatting with eight men right now. And she's going to do eight men like that. And that's a, that's a lick for her. See? But you got to understand something before I let you go is this. When you think, oh, I ain't gonna send a number $50, man, that's a lick over here, $50. Especially during this pandemic. You don't think $25 is a lick over here right now. I'm telling you, man, I'm boots on the ground. A thousand pesos is big money right now, about $20 right now. So you're sending her $50, $100, $200 because you think, oh, it ain't nothing to me. But you're in America. This isn't America. You dealing with the American economy. This is the Filipino economy, man. When you send her two hundred dollars, man. She don't, man. She don't give a damn if you come over here or not. See. So thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate. It. I hope I helped you, man. You know, and ladies too, because hey, I was reading an article today. I got something for you, ladies. Y'all think that it's only the men, but I'm gonna tell you something that's really sliding up under the 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 woodwork. See, a lot of these Western women, Australians, Canadians, Americans, they're coming over here marrying Filipino men. Yeah. Of all the Filipino men that got married uh, outside their race in 2018, 16% of them, they married Australians, 15.9% Americans, 10% Canadians. See, they're coming over here, but they're indiscreet about it. They don't get the sex pet label. They don't get any of that. But they're doing the same thing, guys. But And the Filipino man gets a pass, too. He's not looked at as being uh, ex exploited or anything like that. And he's, doing, he's exploiting some of the women over there, just like the Filipinos are exploiting us. So if you're in America, it's early. You get up, get your cup of coffee, uh, go out and get your newspaper. You see somebody out in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink. Give them a couple of dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's already late. But you can still find somebody to help before you let your head hit the pillow. Please help somebody. This pandemic has really caused 
trouble over here, man. Uh, because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Stay safe, stay COVID free, and I'll see you next time.